Hi, I'm Wells President Mark Schrader. Starting a new church from scratch is no easy feat. There's certainly a lot of planning and preparation that goes into it. But with that can come great blessings for those given the opportunity to serve our Lord in this way, no matter how old or young they may be. Up in the north woods of Wisconsin, in the village of Cronenwetter, is a group of Wells members working to start a church from the ground up. It's free. It's free. No, no, no. Just fill out a fill out survey. survey. That would be great. This church has just recently been approved for mission status from the Board for Home Missions. They're so new that they don't even have a pastor yet. It feels difficult because we're used to going to a church and having a pastor lead us through those things or going to a Bible study and having a pastor or a leader take us through those where we've had to take that on ourselves. But I think it's definitely been a growth experience for many of us. The core group is made up of Wells members from area churches, some of whom are students at the local area Lutheran High School, which just so happens to be located right here in the target area of Cronenwetter. The ability of the Northland Association just to say, hey, we have this space and we want you to use it is pretty phenomenal. At least in the short term, worship services will be held right at the high school at no cost to this new church. We'd just like to ask you a few questions uh, as a little survey for our new church. In addition to that, Northland students have been involved by canvassing the community and surveying their neighbors about their interests in a new church. At Northland, we're really focused on teaching our students how to learn to grow in their own faith and, in, and to share that with others. And then not just in our school community, but to go out into the community and share God's love with everybody. One of the neat things, right, is that especially teenagers, they're, they're incredibly gifted and incredibly useful for ministry. Oftentimes, teenagers will think in ways that adults won't necessarily go. And so how neat is it that we have this ministry that will sort of be shared, where we have a workforce that can go out there, that can help the Mission Church. Our topic for today is Jesus is coming soon. Not only can involving the youth be beneficial for starting this new Mission Church, it can also have a tremendous impact on their own Christian lives as well. It's really nice because sometimes it feels like at church, like it's like an adult thing and the kids are kind of just there, but like this year, like they wanted our consideration and they wanted our ideas. By inviting the students in on the conversation, it has allowed them to have a sense of ownership. That church isn't just something that they go to, but that they are the church. I think we'll especially see the fruit down the road as they graduate and, and go on to college and then wherever they work and, and raise their families and when they're members of, of churches in our synod, I, I gotta believe they'll be very involved and will have grown from their experience with the mission here in Cronenwetter. Just watch them grow in their faith and to learn at such a, a young age how important it is to share with others who need to hear the hope of Jesus to need to hear the message of joy that we have. I can't explain to you, especially as a mom, how important that is to me to see my own kids just being so willing and open to share their own faith all the time. As this core group continues to connect with the community, the next step will be to call a pastor and eventually launch public worship here at the high school. Trying to start a mission that's totally focused on the lost, the lonely, and the hurting from a ground level uh, has been, um, I think uh, energizing for a lot of us and uh, we're very enthusiastic about it. This new mission congregation is in the first set of mission starts and enhancements to be included in our Synod's new 100 missions in 10 years effort. At wells110.net, you can follow the effort's progression and support it with your prayers, involvement, and gifts.